today we're going to be doing some stone gathering, which a lot of people think is terrible, and I've got a little bit of journals here, not too many. I can actually fill more than this in 30 minutes, but that's all I'm bringing with me today because I don't expect everyone to fill as much as I do. But I'm going to show you the profits of farming this for 30 minutes with premium active and with tier 8 equipment, tier 8 Avalonian tools, and a pork pie. So I got a little timer that I'm going to pop up on the screen, and uh, let's begin. So this is gathering in a tier 4 blue zone, I believe I did forget to mention that. And I am mostly targeting tier 2 stone, I am rarely grabbing the tier 4 stone because it's not worth much, but the benefit of tier 4 stone is it fills the journals super fast. I can normally fill 96 journals if I go after tier 4, but it's actually mathematically superior to go after tier 2 in this case, and you'll see why later. This is a huge money maker. Alright, and that is 30 minutes, and uh, we just filled the last journal. Funny how that works, and so let's get back to town and share with you uh, exactly, hold on, let me start, stop the timer there, and uh, share with you exactly how much we made, and do a little bit of calculations with the journals, but it's not just, uh, it's not just what we harvested, it's more than that, and I'm going to talk about that uh, in just a bit. Let me put my tools away so you can see exactly how much all of this costs. Alright, uh, repairs are 45,773. We're definitely going to make more than that back from what we harvested. And no, it is not better to use a regular tool. If we used a regular tool, we would take today's profits and subtract 15%, which is not good. Uh, also, I don't know if I should count this as a drop. This almost never drops from stone elementals, but it did today. So I'll probably not count that towards the total. Let me find a mostly empty chest, I think. I think, no wait, that one's got stuff. I'll take this stuff out, and uh, we'll put all of this stuff in. There we go. So right now, just in raw materials, because we're not done yet, in 30 minutes, we made 433,000. But uh, let's get a little more advanced with the calculations here. So let's do a little bit of math on the uh, stonecutter journals. So the stonecutter journals here are worth 46,623. However... When you turn one of these in, you get 57 uh, of the uh, limestone. So, um, here's the math on that. 37 journals, 46,623, or one journal is 57 tier 2 stone. So 37 journals is 2,109 stone, which is equal to 94,300 estimated market value. So you take our estimated market value without the journal, which is 386,000 down here. And then you add 94,300. So technically, we farmed 480,300 silver in 30 minutes. But again, it does not end there. Now, I want to mention for this step, I have bought the stone to simulate turning in the journals and waiting 22 hours. And so I'm going to go ahead and take this. Now, what I would normally do for the next step that I'm about to explain to you is I would wait for up to 40 to 60 days until you go to activities and then this daily bonus production shows up as stone. And there's, re there's a reason for this, but for the sake of the video and because you guys are impatient zoomers that need instant gratification, I'm just going to show you what it is without the daily production bonus. So as you can see here, we have the stone. Our estimated market value, like I said earlier, is 480,000. But before we do that, I need to talk to you about our actual profits. So if you look here, one limestone right now has an estimated market value of 45 silver, but on the Bridgewatch market, hold on, on the Bridgewatch market, the cheapest it's sell ordering for is currently 80. If we look at four week average, it's only 51, but this is, you know, due to the market swing. You can see here, there's a big upswing. It just like, like just a few days ago, boom, it just exploded and it's starting to slowly trickle back down. And that happens sometimes, especially when a lot of bots get banned which Battle Eye kind of did that. And it also happens whenever uh, there's like new game announcements or game events, people tend to build more things because they have more premium and a reason to build things. Right now, a lot of people got five days of free premium, so they're building their islands up and they need stone, which is really good for us. So if we were to sell, oh, not by order. If we were to sell 999 limestone at a sell order of one below, because that's how we, you know, get our listing above all of these, we make... We're going to round this down, or, or, yeah, we're going to round it down to 75,000. So, and we're going to multiply that by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, about 8. So, what do we say that was? 75,000 times 8. That's 600,000 silver if we sell right now. Just the, I, I didn't calculate 
the sandstone or anything else, just the limestone, 600,000. So that's 1.2 million per hour. And people say it can't be done on Reddit. They're like, oh, you can't gather. I, I gathered into tier four blue zone. While I'm gathering, guess what? I earned faction points. It is like only a few thousand, but still, it's still earning you lots and lots of money, right? But we're not done yet. No, no, no. We got to do a little bit more math. So next step, obviously, is to refine. So let's let's let me show you the, the easy way to calculate this, the brain dead stupid way. There's other ways to calculate it, but this way is the simple way. So a limestone is worth 80, but if we turn it into a block and for those that don't know, let me hide the text here. Refining a limestone block only takes one limestone and it's completely free. Any any station, it doesn't matter what the usage fee per nutrition is. It doesn't matter what they're charging. It is 100% free to refine tier two. And uh, that's just a basic game mechanic. So what this means is that the calculations are really simple, right? So uh, if we turn it into a block, we lose the 80 silver for the limestone, but we gain, we turn it into a block which is worth 64. Well, in here in Bridgewatch, Bridgewatch is known for refining stone. So it's a 36.7% 36 chance to uh, get your, your limestone back, right? So what we do is we take 36.7% of 80, and that number is 29. And that's rounded down. Always round down. Don't round up. So we take 64, which is the value of the block, and then we add 29 because sometimes you get that limestone block back. So on average, you're going to get back 29 silver. And that means you get back 93. Every time you refine, you're turning 80 silver into 93. Uh, because 93 is more than 80, it's worth it to refine. So what I'm going to do now, and this is just 30 minutes worth of limestone. We're not refining the sandstone or the travertine. We are only refining the limestone. And I have 8,747. That's how much I farmed in 30 minutes. That is, you know, that's a lot. Okay, right now our estimated market value is 480,000. I'm going to click craft and um, yes, we're going to have a little bit of fun here and I'm going to cut to when this is done. Actually, I'm going to let you just watch this estimated market value number right down here at the bottom just rise up every time it ticks. So we're already up to 501,000 and remember, this costs nothing. Do not use focus on this. You're, you're spending absolutely nothing at all. So all you're doing is just taking a little bit more time to hammer this out. And uh, again, you have to do the math before you refine. Every time, like, people always ask me in the comments, they're like, is it worth it to refine? Is it worth it to refine? You have to do the math every single time, every single day you gather. And uh, because I live in Bridgewatch and gathering stone is really, really convenient because it's like two or three blue zones away from the main city. It is, it is, it's super easy. I always tell people, if you want to make money gathering, go skinning. Because skinning has baby drops, skinning is harder to do, so less people do it, and the hides generally sell for more. And then when they ask, well, I don't like skinning, I don't want to kill things, and what else can I gather? And I tell them stone. Stone does not sell, you know, for as much as fiber does. But because I live in Bridgewatch and I have all my fans live in Bridgewatch because Bridgewatch is the winning faction on West... Bridgewatch is probably the, the best, most efficient town to live in for fame farming, for crafting, and so on and so forth. And for new players, because your housing and your guild halls are going to be cheaper to build because Bridgewatch is known for its cheap stone. Uh, so, I always tell people live in Bridgewatch. And so, for the second thing that they should gather, I always tell people stone. And yeah, stone doesn't get good until tier 7 or 8. Um, it, but it becomes one of the best like tier 8 stone is in massive demand and in 60 to 70 days There's gonna be a huge content drop and stone is apparently supposed to be fixed I don't know if they're charging more stone for castle upkeep or the black zones or if stone will be used to craft the new weapons But uh, essentially what we're doing because we know limestone blocks We always win 13 silver on average per refine once we refine that 8,000 stack we just did, it's going to give us a bunch of limestone back. And then we're going to just keep refining it until we have no limestone left. Sorry to rant, but look look at the estimated market value. It's already up to 600,000. Here we are. I am done refining. And look at our estimated market value. This is just for 30 minutes. 765,000 silver. And you may be saying, but Swole Benji, it's not 30 minutes. You had to refine. That must have taken like 10 or 12 minutes. And bro, that's AFK. You can refine while AFK. You click a button, you walk away, 
You go get a drink, you, you flip on some YouTube, you check a Twitch stream. It's really simple. And you may be thinking, B -b 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 no, no buts. That is, th this is right now. Right now, 1.5 million silver per hour. Gathering completely safe in a blue zone. But, 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 but tier 8. Okay, you can get tier 8 if you use your learning points in like a month. Maybe a month and a half if you play very casually. You can do it. You can get to tier 8. I did it. Everyone else can do it too. It's it's super simple, but we it does not end here. Because this estimated market value is not based on the current economy. Let me show you. Right now, it thinks that a limestone block is worth 49 silver each. Whereas, currently at Bridgewatch, limestone blocks are worth 61 Average of 39 in the four week, but right now, like I said, it's it's during an upswing because lots more people are crafting. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna count the limestone. We're not even we're not even counting these li like little piddly piles, right? That's 14,000. That's four. That's like 50k. Who cares about this? We, we're just gonna omit that. We're only gonna look at the limestone right now, and we're gonna do some basic math, okay? So if we were to sell 999 limestone blocks at 60, that's one below everyone else. That's 57.5. 57.5. And we're going to multiply that by... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. About 13. Okay, so... Uh, what, what was that again? 57.5? Uh, yes, 57.5 times 13. Times 13. So that's 747,000. Okay. And then... Um, what is that last stack we have down here? Hold on. We're going to go to sell and just calculate that now. And if we sell this last stack, 48, and we're going to add plus 48,000. So, hold on. Uh, 57,500 times 13 plus 48,153. So you're looking at 795,000. If you add the other stones, that's 800,000. So this, like, I just showed you guys a blue zone farming method that is worth 1.6 million silver per hour currently. Of course, market, it depends on the markets, but uh, uh, 1.6 million silver per hour blue zone Redditors seething, okay? Because Reddit says it's impossible to do, and I literally just showed you it's possible to do. It's not fake news. It's not fake numbers. Everything here is real. Okay, so obviously once the market crashes back down and returns to normal, this isn't 1.6 million silver, silver per hour, but it is 1 million silver per hour. Guaranteed, easy mode, completely risk-free, zero danger. I mean, yeah, someone could gank you on your faction flagged. whoop de doo Oh no, you get a small repair bill. Big deal. But um, this is an insane, you know, silver farm. Of course, I did this with premium active. If you don't have premium active, it's not as good. It's right now, if I did not have premium active, this is only 800,000 silver per hour. Um, and of course, um, you know, when the market crashes, it's only 500,000 silver per hour without premium. But that, you know, premium really, really helps when you gather. I just want you guys to know also that this video that you're watching right now, I made a members only video a very long time ago explaining all of these details. So those guys got a huge boost. And if you don't know what channel membership is, right down below this video where my cursor is kind of jumping up and down on the screen here, there is a join button. If you don't see the join button, go into the description of the video and there's a join like link there. It's $5 a month. And what it does is it supports the channel. It's kind of like Patreon. It's kind of like Twitch when you subscribe to a channel on Twitch. But here on YouTube, you get access to private, more personal videos that only channel members can see. And those videos will teach you advanced flipping techniques, advanced gathering, advanced everything that my normal guides don't teach you. Basically, if the guide is so good it will ruin the economy of this game, I don't make it public. I make it members only. And um, <laughs> some of those videos are so good that even Sandbox Interactive, uh, you know, they're members too. Just so they make sure I'm not posting something too spicy, right? Which they've actually had me remove a few videos from my members only sections before because it would have ruined the game, even with members knowing it. So, um, <laughs> again, there's no dupes or no exploits. It's all just advanced and guides and personal videos. Sometimes I put personal stuff there, like how I'm feeling or what I think about, like a movie or something. But uh, other than that, advanced guides. As a matter of fact, there was another advanced guide that was super helpful during uh, Fame Week, because right now is Fame Week. Uh, it's a, there's an, fame cakes going around, and members got 
one month in advance notice on what to buy from the market and then what to flip and sell during fame week to double their money. So again, there's, there's so many videos there. Go check it out. Click the join button, five bucks a month. If at least two of you guys do that, I get to eat one rotisserie chicken, which will last me four real life days. So you keep me fed, you keep me happy, I keep making cool ass videos like this one. With that said, thank you so much for watching. I'm Soul Benji. Make sure you leave a like because Redditors are going to try to bury this because here's the thing. A lot of Redditors hate my guts and they try to say that my videos are false and lying and stuff. But the reality is, is that they don't want everyone having this, this kind of information. They don't want you guys to be powerful and rich in this game because they benefit if you are beneath them. It's it's virtual greed at its worst. I hate to see it. That's why I make my videos. So again, help me out. Hit like on that on the video. Make sure you're subscribed. And the final thing that I ask, besides leaving a comment, because I always read all the comments, it's, it's my only social interaction, is to click the video on the right side of the screen right now. It's a really good one. You're not going to be disappointed. If you don't click it, you're going to stub your toe on something tomorrow.